Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Bennett Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, 14b equals a negative 56. Well, I have multiplication here, right? 14b is 14 times b, and the opposite of multiplication is division, so I need to divide by 14 on both sides. Keep in mind here that 14 divided by 14 is just b. And then a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so my final answer has to be a negative here. So, how can I divide 56 divided by 14? I don't know off the top of my head how many times 14 goes into 56, and I don't want to rush to my calculator. So let's go break down, well, what is 56? What is it really multiplied out to? It's like do that prime factorization. Well, 56, well, it's even, so 2 goes into it. Well, how many times does 2 go into 56? Well, I can quickly do a little long division here, right? 2 and this part was easier, 2 into 56. 2 into 5 is, well, uh, 4, right? Uh, sorry, 2. <laughs> Got ahead of myself, 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, right? Subtract it. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down a 6. And this is easy, right? 2 goes into 16 is 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. And we're good, right? So 28. So 2 times 28 is 56. And then, well, now that's easy, right? 28 is 2 and 14. Now, I don't need to keep doing my prime factorization. Fully because I, if I recognize there's a 14 here, there's a 14 here. So 56, right, can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 14, and we divide it by 14 right there. Well, the 14s can just cancel, right? We have the negative 2, right? So the 14s cancel, so we have b equals negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4. And now I have my final answer. So let's recap. I have 14b equals negative 56. Opposite multiplication is division, so I divide it by 14 to both sides. So we have negative 56 divided by 14. 56 I broke down to be 2 and 28. You were doing some long division here. 28 I saw to be, well, 2 times 14. Now I knew I kind of stopped. I could have kept breaking it down to be 14, be 2 and 7, and go from there, but I didn't. I saw 14 to be, uh, was written in the denominator. So I knew when I multiplied it out that 2 times 2 times 14 was 56, and then the negative out there made it negative 56. And the 14's in the denominator, but the 14's would cancel. So now we're left with negative 2 times 2, and negative 2 times 2 is just negative 4, and so b equals negative 4 is my final answer.